When I first heard that book writer Joe DiPietro, composer David Bryan, director Christopher Ashley, and choreographer Kelly Devine were working on a musical about the life of Princess Diana, my first thought was, who will they ever find to play her? My second thought was, who will they ever find to play him? So please welcome the newly crowned Prince and Princess of Wales, uh, Ro Hartram and Gina DeWall. Hey. Uh, extremely daunting, uh, especially being British in a way. You know, I, I want to really honour how much uh, we love her in yeah. England, and uh, my family has loved her her whole life. And uh, I want to pay respect to a woman that has changed our culture and our history forever. Um, can you tell us like, what exactly the musical chronicles, what portion of Diana's life, and how the other familiar characters fit into the piece? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a really, I think the writer's done a great job of choosing a very specific slice of Diana's life because there, there are so many stories that we could have dived in, dived? Dive. Dived into. Uh, but we <laughs> choose a very specific slice that starts from the moment that Prince Charles and Diana meet to the moment that the Queen allows them to get a divorce. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> So in that, we, uh, Mummy, the Queen, features very uh, heavily with our lovely Judy Kay. Here she is right here, Mummy. She's watching as always. And then we also have uh, our beautiful Camilla, played by Aaron Davey, who features very heavily. Um, we do involve the boys. We do see uh, Diana become a mother, but they are not characters in our show. Um, but it's pretty limited to the specific uh, uh, Camilla, Charles, and Diana relationship, as well as the Queen. Okay. Now, obviously, there's a lot of public information available about both Diana and Charles. Charles, is there anything about that you've learned in the process about the characters that surprised you? Uh, the whole thing, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, obviously, I knew who she was, and um, but I think I was maybe seven or eight when she died. So, uh, diving into the intricacies of the whole story has been one revelation after another. And then you add on top, obviously, that we're now viewing this through, through 2020 eyes, which sort of set, sheds a whole new light on everything that happened and how she dealt with it. And um, so, yeah, pretty much a, a learning curve right through. And you? Uh, actually, I found a really wonderful excerpt in a biography that talked about Charles dancing. And he's described as an enthusiastic dancer, which I think he and I have in common. Not necessarily good, but enthusiastic, for sure. Uh, and then also there's a quote from Charles where he describes himself as, uh, he says, the rhythm is in me. So oh, I, uh, Enough for Kelly to work with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, we're now sounding in completely the wrong order. Uh, but for a treat, in the words of book writer Joe DiCretto, our show starts with the flashes of paparazzi. Princess Diana, a bit older and wiser, steps out of the lights and steps up to a microphone. Here to sing the song title, Underestimated, is Gina DeWall, accompanied by composer David Bryan. Hello. Hi. 